So it seems like someone is avoiding something when it comes to being on the same page with you. This is someone who may have lost direction. Hmm. Or this energy is committing to something that doesn't belong to them. This is someone who could be settling. Settling instead of being with a soulmate. This is someone who is acting delusional to not creating some type of differences or leading a double life. This is someone who is creating some type of situationship because they're refusing to accept the reality of this connection. Someone is living a false belief or believing something that is false because of their guarded or closed off heart. Someone is holding back when it comes to a relationship or the fact that they're choosing to not realize something when it comes to their faults. Someone feels like it's cool, it's okay to do what they're doing because they're just having fun. But there's no loyalty here when it comes to someone who is abusing their position. This is someone who is causing some type of downfall when it comes to emotions or physical energy here where someone is creating obstacles because they're being guarded. So it seems someone is creating obstacles because of their addictions, weaknesses. I feel this is someone who could be holding some type of resentment by leading some type of masquerade, pretending to be what you like within a partner or a connection. But this energy is coming out as a complete liar. This is someone who is not being honest with you. They're playing a game, putting on some type of masquerade of being a soulmate, yet this energy is stuck in a place, a place of lust, weaknesses, pretending to know their position. Someone is going round and round when it comes to family issues. Someone is wanting to, a victory with you, but still hiding something when it comes to their issues, a third party, or even the fact that they're going round and round in an unhealthy situation or toxic patterns. This energy is coming out as unstable, caught up, wasting time when it comes to manipulation. Someone is unfulfilled and apprehensive. Someone is still not speaking up and still not letting go. So it seems someone who knows they dealt you a sorry hand or slept on your energy feels like they've done too much or too little for you to just forgive and forget because whatever choices they made are either close to unforgivable or a chapter of your life that you would rather forget. As it seems you're no longer able to confide in their energy or even trust them after what they have done or said to you. And even the fact that they are pretending to not see a truth or the, realize the fact that they are caught up is the reason something cannot be unseen, unheard. You can't forget what someone has yet to speak up about, especially when it comes to family issues, trust issues, or even a third party. Because whatever they're avoiding is causing you, the both of you to not be on the same page. This energy sees themselves as a magician. This is why they're always playing games. Especially when it comes to forgiveness and their addiction. So it's just not on the right page when it comes to letting something go or being better than they used to be. As I said before, this energy is coming out as a magician. Someone who is used to playing the hand to get what they want. But I feel whatever hand they have played is now played out. Let's get some more energy here. Let's grab the messages here. What are the messages here for the collective energies? For many of you, this is someone who couldn't focus on this connection, wanting to be single. Many of you have to keep calm because there are innocent energies involved. For many of you, you're trying to take a recovery period. So when it comes to family, many of you are dedicated or focused on different things. This is why there's a lack of growth. And many of you are no longer opening up to something that was supposed to be long term. So something that was long term is now short term due to someone not being able to release something because now something is unstable and someone is now weighed down, weighed down by what they refuse to release because between the two of you, there is no clear communication or the fact that someone is not listening is the reason something or someone is being weighed down. 
I feel there's a lack of communication, a lack of compromise, and someone still pretending that something isn't weighing them down, when in fact they're in balance when it comes to affairs of the heart. This is the reason someone is unable to let something go. For many of you, this is someone who stayed in the space of denial. This is why something became short term. But I feel it's the trust issues that created a long term damage here. So for many of you, third party issues here keep them in denial. But I feel because someone can't let something go or something became short term is the reason you just had to let something be. Because something definitely became a messy situation that many of you are no longer trying to get through, work through. For many of you, you're no longer trying to weather the storm when it comes to compromise, communication, or someone who is being weighed down by pretending that their life is not a hot mess. But I feel this imbalance in love will cause someone to see something that they're not ready to see. But I feel you letting go is another reason someone is realizing something that they're refusing to acknowledge in their life. For many of you, something is irreconcilable. For many of you, you're no longer wanting to weather the storm when it comes to someone who won't communicate because it's just not worth it. So it's time for someone to learn a lesson. So it seems it's time for someone to learn a lesson when it comes to trust issues, third party energy, something that was cut short. Someone's about to learn a lesson when it comes to forgiveness. Many of you are burnt out. So for many of you, this is something that has become unforgivable or you're just wanting to forget about it and this is what's causing someone to be weighed down wanting to communicate but someone is feeling like they can't they don't hold that position in your life anymore i feel someone's insecurities are starting to get to them but this energy is still living reckless third-party energy here could be causing conflict you know there's karmic lessons here and I also feel this is someone who is having some mental issues. Someone feels like they just can't get it right. So for many of you, these insecurities, someone pretending something isn't falling apart, is causing someone to mentally decline. And some of you feel like this energy was always mentally lost, but I feel someone's in a space where nothing su surprises you. But I feel someone's just not ready for these lessons of forgiveness and insecurity. Something just won't come back together. So it seems like it's going to be hard for this energy to mend this bridge with you. Or even ask for forgiveness. Many of you feel like something is way past that. Especially when it comes to heartbreak, chaos, and drama. Someone's just become too toxic to deal with. Especially when it comes to affairs of the heart. Many of you feel like your heart isn't safe with this energy. Because they're all caught up in some type of illusion. I feel like someone could be trapped by their own grief and sadness. So, uh, I feel this energy is trying to pretend they're not filled with anxiety. This anxiety can be attached to fears, worry, taxes, rent. This could also be someone being uncertain about something, uncertain about rewriting a story or the fact that something is on pause. There could be a life coming into this world, but there is something coming soon attached to their finances. Whatever they feel is a mess is about to get more chaotic. So things about to get really crazy for this energy who has caused their own conflict because they have failed to let something go, but the fact that they can't let something go has allowed you to let something be. Wow, and someone's having to just deal with a third party or just learn a lesson when it comes to a very messy situation. I feel this messy situation is also weighing them down and playing on their mental state. This is why someone is just hard to understand as they're also coming out as unauthentic. I feel in many ways this energy has become someone hard to understand or deal with because their actions just don't meet up with their words. I feel like this energy is just too prideful. This is why they're weighed down and going through some mental stress, all because of third party denial and something becoming short term or someone not realizing their mistakes are going to last a lifetime. Wow. So much loyalty and trust there's respect that is lost here and i feel that it's worse than you being mad at them as this energy is coming out as the silent one but i feel many of you are on to their snake-like ways 
This energy is coming out as stoic. Like, they're not wanting you to feel like they're bothered. Someone is trying to pretend they're not affected, but they're craving you. They're wanting your attention. Someone is wanting to make a, take a risk or do something risky, but still they're backing off. Because they feel like you're aware. You have receipts or you're being intuitive. But I feel this could also be your energy as well, backing off. Because you feel like there's a warning when it comes to someone who is coming out as silent, petty. Someone who is wanting to be in control. So it seems like someone is wanting to be in control of a situation. This is why someone has gone silent on you. But I also feel like they're dealing with some mental issues that they're not wanting you to see. This is also connected to stress and desire. Someone is trying to control their weaknesses. Hmm. So I also feel someone is trying to play a game here. Someone is being petty, going silent on you just to trap you in some type of control. Someone is wanting to cause some type of stress. But I feel they're the ones stressed behind their own weaknesses because they can't install fear into you. This is someone who wants to install some type of fear into you because they're wanting you to cling to them. This energy is coming out as a beautiful liar. Someone who is being petty by playing mind games with you. I feel this is someone who wants you to have deep feelings. Hmm. Low key, someone is wanting to control you. So this control energy is coming out twice for me. I'm seeing someone who is wanting to be in control. And wanting to trap you in some type of dirty game of trauma bonding. Because this energy knows that a trauma bond is going to seal something for them. Low key, someone is wanting to control you by playing nice. Playing some type of game. Playing with your emotions. Gaining your trust. Hmm. But I feel many of you are now seeing something is just not what it seems. When it comes to someone who is just being cold or distant with you. Low-key wanting to shift something in your heart. Someone is being cold, wanting to gain trust. But I feel the twist here is you're focused on yourself. You're not focused on this energy the way that you used to. This is why you could be on to someone who is being stoic, pretending not to be bothered. Someone is not understanding that this sweeter side to you has another side. Another side of you that this energy should shouldn't want to see you don't trust them this is why you're focused on yourself you know something is not what it seems when it comes to someone who's trying their best to manipulate you someone feels like you are going to follow your heart and this is what's going to lead them back in but i feel you already see their problem in fact many of you may even see them as a hidden enemy because as i said before they're coming out as not being authentic because in so many ways they shut you out because you call them out. This is why someone is trying to be stoic even though they know they're a problem. Someone is not realizing their manipulation has caused them to become your enemy. Or someone you just choose not to trust or give your power to. This is someone who is flirting with danger. Hmm. So it seems like someone is flirting with danger because they're playing with your emotions. They're playing with your heart. And I feel something is going to become a problem for, for them because of it. Especially if they decide or believe they can take from you. It won't be as easy as what they thought. As I said before, someone is definitely flirting with danger, trying to manipulate a situation, trying to trap you in some type of trauma bond, trap you in some type of way. Someone is coming out as a beautiful liar, someone who has become your hidden enemy because of their ways, their dark intentions. Someone is wanting to gain your trust and I feel like that's going to be a problem. Because someone should have never played the game of playing with your heart. Someone would have never chosen the path. It's going to cause them to lose anyways. Because at this point this energy is playing a lot of games in the hopes that others don't see the truth. But I feel there's a lot of energies that are on to someone's petty games. There's a lot of energies that can see past the facade. Hmm. 
Someone's doing a lot of work hoping that others don't see how damaged they truly are. Yet I sense the more they hide it, the more it shows. As I believe this energy doesn't really want anyone to know what really what's really going on. But everyone's turned on to the truth. And it's almost too obvious to even try to hide. But it's them caring too much about what others think. That just might be their downfall. I feel this is someone who's just wanting to install some type of fear in your heart. Hoping that that will cause some type of reaction. A reaction that will come out to be somehow their benefit. As in many ways they're still trying to save face or even justify your absence by telling everyone else that they still have access to you. This is why I feel like this energy has gone silent. They're telling lies behind your back. Someone is telling... This energy is telling other people they still have access to you when they don't. This is someone who is still acting petty or hoping they can cause some type of shift, but this is how someone is playing a dirty game because I feel like everyone knows or something is about to be exposed. Whatever they're trying to hide isn't being hid at all because while they're trying to bait you in, they're also being baited into a situation that just might provoke them or even spill the beans on some type of narrative that they're trying to give everyone else and whether they're trying to express the fact that they believe you're crazy or they still have access to you someone is just not telling the truth especially when it comes to you i feel this is someone who has deep feelings but i feel due to the mind game someone can't cling to the relationship the way they should someone just doesn't want to do the hard work and this is why they're low-key playing nice and playing these mind games so you don't let go someone is being petty still holding on to you this is someone who is being petty but still throwing some type of pity party someone sabotaged something with you and now they're wallowing in some type of energy wanting others to feel sorry for them so this is why someone is trying to spin some type of narrative that they still have access or you're obsessed and crazy when in fact this is someone who is losing it trying to trap you, trying to create something long term or trying to figure something out. Someone is on demon time. Someone is just wasting time. Someone is just not leveled up. Someone is just not ready for you. This is someone who is trying to shift something when they should be trying to shift themselves into a better state of being. But this is just too much work for someone who is just used to being low vibrational, causing me to feel this person's way of thinking can sink a ship or destroy a foundation because I feel at this point things are just off course <sighs> and they could be in a space where they're worried because there's a lack here so someone wanted something to shift your energy but it it seems like you went in a different direction and someone's kind of put off by that Someone's feeling some type of entitlement towards you, even though they know they disrespected you and put you in a very bad position. Now they're in a space where they feel like they deserve pity. Mm -hmm. um. So it seems like someone is in a position where they're wanting you to feel some type of way for turning your back. This energy wants you to feel some type of guilt for choosing what's best for you. Wow. So I feel like this is plan B, making you feel some type of way even though they know they were on demon time, someone is going through struggle, lack, and wanting to clap back at you. This is unwanted criticism or someone is about to make a quick response uh, and I feel like it just might be coming from the wrong space here because someone is still not being logical, just wanting to link up, someone is wanting to connect with you, someone is wanting to pop up as a last resort. I feel the jokes on them, something will backfire when it comes to someone's silly decisions of thinking they'll have your pity because you, you peep game on this. You're silently observing someone's actions or the lack thereof. Someone cannot outsmart you on this situation where someone is non-committal or they're constantly doing the same things and getting the same results. For many of you, you're starting to believe this is someone who is just not of your same energy, hmm. not the yin to your yang. I feel for many of you, this is a situation where you're unequally yoked. And this is why someone is not able to get over on you. Hmm. So it seems like someone's wanting to be discreet about something, but I feel it backfired. Wow. 
someone slept on your energy they thought you were the underdog and low-key this energy has disappointed you in a very dis big way in fact it's almost cringe this energy has repulsed you in a way where they're on a slippery slope by assuming or accusing you of things they know they have done for many of you this is almost like a reality check where someone could be going through judgment for catfishing you pretending to be something that they are not because in the long run this energy canceled plans or they breadcrumbs you this thirst trap energy here hmm. so it seems like someone is wanting validation from you but i feel this this is not what's going to take place say less energy here this is letting me know that someone is still not legit and it's going to be a mic drop so there's going to be an end to discussion as many of you are going to prove a point. So it seems like you're going to be successful when proving a point, whether this is through your silence or even your actions, whatever the case, you're about to prove a point to someone who thought that they would never have consequences or there would never be any karma for their decisions. Yeah, I sense what was once unchanged has now changed you. I feel this energy being on demon time definitely changed the situation as well as your energy towards them because things are definitely not the same. Many of you are not wanting to settle. Many of you are not wanting to settle. This energy is going to have to change. This plan B is just not going to work when it comes to someone who is caught up. For many of you, they feel like kissing up to you is the key queen rising you're stepping into your power and i feel like it's the same thing different day many of you are used to someone screwing something up or giving themselves some type of pity party instead of being into you giving into you the way they should in fact someone owes you something hmm. someone is needing to make an offer towards you and i feel this is also haunting them because they know they wasted a lot of time Someone wasted a lot of time even though they know they want you back. But this energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who failed to give love but gave fake energy, fake smiles, holding a grudge. Someone is, has become an obsessive lover. Someone who has become unhealthy, possessive, or even a karmic energy. As this is someone who has more than one issue or problem because they really don't care what they give into who they give their energy to. I feel this energy would drink out of any cup that is given to them. However, their karmic ways or their fake smile is it's just not working, especially when it comes to those they have chose to trust. For many of you, this energy doesn't like the fact that they feel you're unfazed, but I feel someone is going to try to flex or flaunt something that they don't have, but I feel many of you are still unfazed and unbothered when it comes to someone who's obsessively stalking or watching you. Someone feels like you're happier without them while they're dealing with a drama starter or they're dealing with a lot of drama. This energy is coming out as bankrupt emotionally, mentally, or spiritually, and this is why many of you are unbothered by someone who has shown you how thoughtless and poisonous they could be. Someone is just sitting in ego or someone has hurt their ego, but someone is going through a lot of bad karma and this is why they're coming out as mentally, spiritually, or emotionally bankrupt. This energy could be financially struggling as well because of these reckless ways or someone hurting when it comes to their ego. Someone is in their pride about something being played out. There's also scare tactics, someone wanting to scare you in some type of into play. Someone is wanting to scare you into position, but someone has gained a very bad reputation, which is why many of you are no longer interested. And the fact that you are no longer interested has caused you to move on and dodge a bullet when it comes to someone who has abused their position and even their power in this connection or relationship as they're now coming out as a spiritual hater, someone who is afraid of who you could be. Hmm. But I feel their bad habit of talking about you or their weaknesses and addictions, their toxic ways, keep them running. As they are showing up as a thief, someone who has robbed or taken away from people physically or emotionally, many of you are moving on in their in their head about it so it seems like someone you could be moving in silence or someone is very much in their head about you 
But whatever the case, they're stressed out over analyzing their addictions or the fact that they may have lost out on any chances they may have had with you, especially since they are coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Many of you feel like there's no foundation, there's no future without respect and trust. And as long as they're showing up as a wolf in sheep's clothing, there's no trust. So in turn, there's no foundation. I feel this is someone who just doesn't like the feeling of rejection. But I feel they are very careless with you. Which is why many of you had to dust things off so they could get back to what they thought they wanted. But what they thought they wanted doesn't have anything to do with you. And this is why someone has failed to even see why. They can't win. I feel deep down they wish they could have done better. Someone wishes they could have done better to maintain what they have with you. Yet they also know they don't have what it takes to make it work or even make it right. I feel like this is someone who lost their way a long time ago, way before they met you. This is why someone could be wasting their time, wanting to come back. Someone knows they owe you so much more than that. So much more than what is offered. And playing these pity games or mind games is just not the way. But the fact that someone just doesn't have the tools is the reason why they can't show up for you. Someone wants to show you love, but they're also waiting for something. But I feel waiting for something is keeping something stuck. It's only going to mentally imprison them. For many of you, this energy is coming out as a soul vibration, a lesson in love, a lesson when it comes to connections and communication. Because someone is just too proud to even admit that they are in the devil's den when it comes to loyalty. Someone played with something, played with your heart, and now they're trying to steal their way through this dark night of the soul. Someone's definitely going through a lot when it comes to childhood wounds and a third party. Someone has met their match, especially when it comes to karma. Karma that they never thought that they would ever see or even receive. Which is why they did things from a hurt space. And another reason why they always ended up hurting you and pushing you away. So they didn't have to deal with their own insecurities or even their own fears. Yet now I feel that's all they see. That's all they feel. They're too proud to admit what they're going through. So they're trying to steer through it with no guidance, no light, no energy. Hmm. This energy is coming out as someone who is still a pirate, still setting fires in their own life. Someone still has cloudy intuition, cloudy judgment. This energy is coming out as an acquired taste. Not everyone can take them. But I feel at this point, no one is accepting them at all. So, for many of you, this energy is trying to drink it away, calm their nerves by doing things that are reckless or just coming from a place of instant gratification. Someone is still wearing a mask when it comes to a third-party energy or a false environment. Someone is an acquired taste when it comes to a soul contract because their ego has their mind in pieces. Someone really doesn't know who they are, so they don't know which side of them to give you. Because someone has yet to be illuminated to their own place of peace without peace there's no victory and someone is still hiding from the truth procrastinating so it seems like this energy is trying their best to wait out a storm waiting for the dust to settle within the situation but this is why they have no victory and their mind is in pieces because of their broken ego someone adores you but someone is just not mature enough to give the love that you deserve this energy is still trying to steer through something with no light. They're trying to navigate through these challenges. Wow. Navigating through challenges of free will, but still not making solid choices from a very authentic space because they're still dealing with fears and tears that they're not ready to deal with, which isn't helping at all because it's only causing them to bottle up their emotions or lash out on those who didn't even hurt or betray them. But I feel this is someone who's going through challenges and hard knocks of life and even roadblocks due to their indecisions. Someone can't navigate through their choices 
And this is why it's hard for them to truly move out of free will, even though someone is still making mistakes, someone is still not illuminated to the fact why they can't have a victory. Something is still worn, something is torn. This is why there is a lack of communication and someone is becoming someone you used to know because of the distance. I feel there is distance because the love that this energy gives is it's almost starting to feel like it's poisonous because it's done nothing to lift you up but everything to break you down. However, I feel many of you are no longer in the space where you're allowing anything or anyone to break or shake you in this season. So whatever hold they thought they had over you is now gone. And because of their choices, I feel there is no one else to blame. I feel there is no one else to blame when it comes to their reckless, weak ways. Giving in to lust, instant gratification, many of you have been patient for a very long time. This is why there is distance and someone is still trying to navigate through their ego and mature, maturity. Hmm. Someone's definitely lost their way. This is why they can't see the right choice, which way to go, especially when it comes to energy such as yours someone is still dealing with cloudy judgment indecisive energy where someone still can't trust their own intuition because they have yet to go deep enough to seek a truth or even admit that they are lost and this is why someone is moving blindly through this dark night of the soul because they are still not eliminated or illuminated to what they know is true now they're having to deal with this karma or even those who are pretending to care hmm. because they're also dealing with energies who are giving them fake smiles, fake love and everything they once had with you is now over. What they had with you was over and now is somewhat haunting them. Hmm. I feel many of you are Stepping out of this energy with this person. It's the same thing different day and many of you are just tired of feeling insane for Choosing to do better be better with them now. You're choosing to be better and do better without them Many of you are no longer trying to prove something because this energy is not confessing unless they get caught And even if they get caught this energy is only going to tell half truths Someone is still not going to be honest about what is being said and done because they're not ready to acknowledge the truth about themselves But I feel they should be very careful I feel like this energy should be very careful when it comes to falling back into an illusion or staying in some type of Non reality as they may be going down a rabbit hole that most never recover from yet I sense the choice is solely theirs when it comes to the battle of saving their own soul because whether they get caught or not something will c come to light and the consequences of their karma when it comes to that their debt needs to be paid so whether they feel like they're going to get caught or not that is not the problem that is not the issue here the fact that someone doesn't know the wrath of their own karma is because someone is still telling lies going back and forth hmm. so it seems like someone's going back and forth because they feel like everyone wins and they're throwing something away with you through manipulating something and playing dumb pretending not to know the truth and avoiding responsibility someone is doing anything to avoid change so they're stringing something along believing everyone wins when i feel they're truly throwing something away because they've already been caught even if you don't have the clues or the facts many of you know deep down that whatever they're doing it's just it's not worth it it's not worth stringing along. It's not comp it's not worth compromising for when someone is still pretending. They know nothing. So it seems like someone is still playing dumb when it comes to going back and forth with you, manipulating or even having sneaky behaviors. Someone is definitely stringing something along, but something just might come to a harsh end when it comes to a heart to heart. Someone is wanting to bait you into some type of conversation where someone is still sitting in some type of illusion but they're getting desperate to reconcile someone knows they're not sorry someone knows 
that they have no authentic apology for you, but someone is wanting to talk about how they avoided the conversation. Someone is still playing dumb to the truth, but they're also not realizing what they're sacrificing in playing these games with you. As I said before, this is someone who is yet to realize that the battle is to save their own soul. Because from what I can see, wherever they are, their karma is starting to rain down and they may not have a seat at your table because they might be on the menu. For many of you, you have no malice, you have no hate in your heart for this energy, but I feel playing with your heart can be dangerous. This is someone who's playing down to the manipulation that they are creating or causing, but I feel the illusion that they're in will soon come to an end, and I feel that just might be harshly. As I said, someone is needing to clean something up, or it will become a long journey of up and ups and downs for someone who is about to learn some lessons when it comes to being charming or, or believing they're a Casanova. For many of you, something is just too late. When it comes to someone believing that they're fooling you, oh wow. Someone's being dishonest with not just you, but someone else. Someone that has very selfish intentions here, but I feel the fact that you are fed up has caused something to just be too late. Even if this energy was able to catch your ear, something is just too late. Your ears are open. You are very clear on who and what you're dealing with here. And even if you don't know the full scope of things, many of you know enough not to go back. This is someone who has exhausted something with you by playing the field or not being serious about anything. And this is why many of you have allowed your heart to lead you in a different direction because even if you're guarded or even if they're resisting change, something is still not going anywhere. These are self-imposed restrictions for someone who didn't fight for you because I feel like soon they're going to wish they did. But I feel that this energy continues to become an obstacle or they continue to hinder you or even play with your heart. I feel your silence or even the distance between the two of you will be the least of their worries. As I sense many of you will lose no sleep over their dark heart and shallow victories. I feel this energy soon thought that you would be coming their way, but I feel the only thing coming their way is their karma. Because at this point, even if it's plain to see, somehow, some way, this energy is going to find a way to ironically connect or catch up with you. Telling you everything they think you want to hear. Just so they can feel they have control again. Yet you must remember, they'll do anything to gain back their trust that they once had with you. Even going as far as to embarrass you or even destroy you when they feel their control is lost. But I feel that will also cause many of you to finally just be done. I feel this person doing too much, going too far, really testing your limits will cause many of you to just be done. Not mad, just done. Because from what I can see, that you losing them doesn't amount to anything, but them losing you was everything that they have ever asked for. Because now that they have broke the trust, they have also broke the bond as many of you are no longer giving them chances to break your heart or even break you down. I feel like this energy almost wants to bring you down to their level. And this is why many of you are protecting your heart when it comes to someone who just might be addicted to all this toxic stuff. So it seems like for many of you, this is someone who is addicted to the cycles of being toxic. I feel this is someone who has some control issues. This is why someone thought that you would never leave. This energy thought that you would always feel this was perfectly imperfect, like it had its flaws, but you would always be connected in some way. This is also connected to the control issues of someone throwing something away even though they wanted to be near you, but the fact that you are fed up is definitely causing someone to rethink some things. But I feel it's their karma. Their karma raining down on them that really brings them to their knees because I feel in so many ways this is someone who is driven by their ego and this is why they're stuck in limbo. Wow, 
So this is someone who is stuck in limbo when it comes to having no respect, giving in to the addictions and the trust issues. This is someone who is over romanticizing the highs and the lows of this connection. This is someone who is over romanticizing their so-called love because they are repeating cycles. Wow. So it seems like someone is repeating cycles with no regrets. This is why they're over romanticizing the highs and the lows. They believe this is what's keeping you close. This is what's keeping you connected, repeating the cycles and giving you so-called love because they are unawakened. This is someone who is coming out as a false twin flame. Hmm. But I feel loving them leaves you feeling drained. This is someone who's always justifying, not compromising, or giving you the love that you deserve. This is why it feels like they have already lost who they are. Someone has lost their identity by having no regrets or even trying to compromise. Hmm. Wow. False hope. Always giving false hope. Justifying bad habits or behaviors. This is someone who has been a lesson or is learning some lessons of convenience. So I feel like this is someone who is moving out of mania. This is someone who is wanting to test you, but I feel something very unexplainable is about to take place. Something when it connects to lessons and things of convenience, someone is about to experience something that is unexplainable when it comes to their wounds and rejection. And even their driven energy of ego but I feel that it's the lack of respect that's going to awaken their fears. Mm. So it seems like you may have to expect the unexpected when it comes to someone who lacks direction. Because for many of you, they're wanting to test the waters to see if you're, you'll give in or if you're still invested in this connection. But I feel someone is just kind of delusional because many of you are over the cheating heart or someone who is just not loyal enough for you to be in sync because you're definitely dealing with a runner here however there is a, a turning point that is unexplainable that is about to teach them a lesson of convenience this won't be easy but it's unplanned so it seems like something that is unplanned is about to bring this energy to a crossroads, a fork in a road, when it comes to whatever they're out of sync about. But I feel whatever it is won't be easy and it will bring a turning point. Hmm. So it feels like many of you are kind of not really sure when it comes to this energy. But I feel if you need more insight, this energy will definitely talk, say something that will bring you to a space where you know you can't trust them. Or even past that, taking inventory of those around them will definitely put you in a space where you find out who they are. Because they're attached to like-minded energies. Or this energy is just heavily influenced by their peers or even their surroundings. But whatever it is, it's definitely clinging to them linking to them but I feel some type of planned event will definitely take a bite out of them take a bite out of their pride because their weaknesses and their lust is definitely keeping them in cycles cycles of attachments dark energy someone is in a dark night of the soul where there's a lot of small challenges that create a space where they don't feel safe and I feel that was never part of the plan to hide who they are or hide their feelings but their peers and their surroundings is causing something to be damaged or beyond repair as it seems someone is wanting you to come closer but I feel the small challenges that they are going through is keeping you at a distance as well rejection is your protection in this season where there is conflict it is also a detour a hidden blessing in disguise this doesn't feel good to have someone betray you or someone lose direction even though there was trust but I feel something had to happen here for a reason I feel there is a detour when it comes to a runner chaser dynamic here where someone cannot be trusted someone is wanting to trap you into a situation but something unexpected hmm. An unexpected event keeps them blocked. Keeps them blocked and separated. 
and I feel this is something that many of you need to stand by when it comes to someone who is wanting to break a barrier after testing you because in so many ways this energy you still believe somehow some way you're still a fool for them either you're still a fool for them or they're fooling the both you and someone else but I feel this energy is karma is is definitely going to be their biggest challenge here I feel like this is someone who believes you're gonna let them back in but I feel to prevent their karma becoming your own you're gonna have to keep your distance because even though they want you to believe they have changed I feel many things about them remain the same <laughs> but I feel if this energy decides to come back your way, they just might be really surprised at what they see in you because you are not the same as they are low-key wishing that you accept them back and no questions asked. Many things about you are just different and how you hear them and even receive them. It's just not the same because even if they feel like they're fooling everyone else, they won't be fooling you.